was a fail. You mean oh, okay. red. So, like, if you're gonna be green. Yes, of course. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be baking my own birthday cake because my birthday is tomorrow, April 5th, and we're in quarantine. This is the inspiration for the cake that I want to make. I don't know how successful I'm going to be. Obviously, the decorations are not going to be like that. We're going to improvise that because we don't have enough ingredients. Before we get started with this video, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any videos that you want to see. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time. I post a video and yeah without any further ado let's get started last time i did a video here was kind of tragic i got a lot of hate on it it was my ember chamberlain coffee video people commented a lot about this scissor so i'm gonna move it so i'm following this vanilla cake recipe that's my base from food network it'll take two hours i'm gonna film me preparing one of them because i have to make two cakes ingredients would be unsalted butter we don't have unsalted butter but they anyways want it melted so we're just using vegetable oil and hope that works. Three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of sugar, four eggs at room temperature, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one and a half cups of whole milk. Step one is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. It says 350 degrees Fahrenheit, but our thing is in Celsius, so I have to put it to 180 degrees Celsius because that's the closest to 176.666. Now it's on, it's preheating. Step two, butter a two nine inch round cake pans and line them with parchment paper. We don't have parchment paper, so I just butter them well. So I'm just gonna put a bit of, let me wash my hands first. And I'm gonna put on an apron. Chef Tai Tai is in the building. So I'm gonna be taking my um, vegetable oil. It's Zim Gold, if you're wondering. I don't really think anyone cares. Spread it around the pan with my fingers to prevent the cake from sticking. So the last time I filmed a video in the kitchen with like my cooking, a lot of people got offended like with how I made a coffee drink and I got a lot of hate for that. So like if you're gonna be hating me for making a cake, please take that outside. I make them my own way. I never really follow instructions. They're kind of there as like an option. Please don't hate on the way I make a cake. This is not a tutorial on how to make a cake. Go somewhere else if you wanna learn how to make a cake. Now it wants us to dust the pans with flour. Dusting, I don't think I'm doing that right. Okay, that's pretty good. So now I have to do three cups of flour. Convert that to grams. 384 grams of flour. Quarantine has been making me want to bake a lot, so I've just been like going for it. They want one tablespoon of baking powder, but my cake, my flour already has, so I'm just gonna put like a quarter because it's self-rising flour, so that means it already has it. Half a teaspoon of salt. When I whisk, I like to use two different things. I use a whisk and a fork. So when the ingredients are dry, I like to use a fork because I feel like it gets really in the nitty gritty. My house is really not equipped for baking because we literally don't have like those measure things. Beat in two sticks of butter on a mixer at medium heat until light and fluffy. So I'm just gonna guesstimate the amount of oil I put in. That was kind of a lot. And then they want one and a quarter cups of sugar. This is how my mixture looks. I think this is what they mean by fluffy. And now I need to be adding my eggs. Oh my God, what happened? It just lost its like texture. Oh, okay, it's meant to look separated. I'm gonna try to crack this egg with one hand. I've been practicing. That was a fail. We're on the last egg. That was smooth. I think my vanilla extract is gonna finish after this one tablespoon. Oops. Okay, so I've been mixing this for a while and it looks like this. That's its consistency. Here's the angle of an action shot. Jeez, that looks so satisfying. Now that we're done, we're now going to in the pan. I apologize for my messy workstation, but we work with it. That is so satisfying. This is what the final batter looks like. 
I just made the second batch of batter and cleaned up that entire area. And this cake is gonna be done in like four minutes. And it's kind of gotten really tall. I don't know if you can see, but it's very tall. Welcome to the new location. We're gonna be attempting to make a glaze for my cake. Um, I looked at the ingredients and I ran out of vanilla extract when I made the second batch of my cake. So I have to like improvise. So I was thinking to make it kind of like cake batter. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but we're just gonna start. So I'm gonna start off by putting a little bit of flour. Then I'm gonna add in some sugar. Next, I have hot chocolate because since my cake is vanilla, we wanna kind of just like counteract it. And now I'm gonna put some milk. I'm gonna like finish this off camera and I'm gonna talk to you when I have two cakes and some glaze. There's one cake complete. Kind of looks like a disaster but this actually kind of goes with what i want to cut out of the cake so that's fine and i want to use the base of the cake as the top because it looks better than what the top did so it's like an hour later and i took out my second cake from the oven and it broke but i decided to cut what i could from the first cake and so far it looks like the number 10 like messed up, let me show you. So the one came out pretty good. And this is the bottom half of the eight. So to improvise and to fix this nonsense is, I have this like piece that came off of the first cake and I can make them go on the sides like this. And when I trim them, I could find a piece that fits right in the middle. So I did the best that I could to make number 18. I mean, it's not bad considering that I put it together from a broken cake. It looks like so far, I'm still trying to like remove the grain. So I'm very proud of the one. What is I'm gonna do now is like, I'm gonna ice it and put like, I don't know, fruit on it or something. icing job I've ever seen in my life but I need the icing to kind of just like cool on the cake I'm gonna put it in the fridge I will do a montage of the final product so you'll get to see it before and after my heart, my heart just got stuck between these loops mama got stuck in between these groups Right now it's like 